Full moon on the rise, I'm a song on the wind Looking for space and finding my way back home Happy tear in my eye We've got our tent all packed away. You can see where it, where it lived overnight. Stayed nice and dry underneath. That's great. I think it's the first time we've put our ground sheet away without it being full of mud. Um, we're sharing our breakfast here today. Sherry's turn to stuff some food in her mouth. We've got our packs pretty much set to go. And uh, when we're done eating, we're going to finish filtering uh, water into our drinking bottles for the day. Um, so far, so good. No rain in sight. It rained last night. It did. Look at that sky. Oh, wow. Blue sky right now. Yeah. We're going to get some rain today. Yeah, it's going to rain a little bit. It's foggy. <clears throat> I think I think we slept pretty good. Mm -hmm. You sleep pretty good? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to video you stuff in your face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sli um, yeah, I woke up once and I had like a leg cramp thing. Mm -hmm. So I pulled off my... Um, um, calf sleeve mm -hmm. that I had on. Yeah, the compression sleeve. Compression sleeve, yeah. Um, then I fell back asleep. And it's pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It rained pretty hard about, <clears throat> let's see, it's probably about nine o'clock, a little after nine. It rained really hard, and then it just like stopped. Like somebody turned off the faucet. Yeah, just like that, it just stopped. It was weird. It was strange. Um, but I don't think it rained much throughout the night. Mm -hmm. It might have sprinkled a little bit. No, we may we have a dry spot. Yeah. Um, what else? We'll, when we leave, we'll walk out and we'll show you the whole uh, shelter area as we walk out. But we're just finishing up our chores here, getting packed up and ready to go for the day. Oh yeah, Sherry just reminded me, um, just about when we were ready to just turn off our lights and, and go to sleep, we heard off in the distance, off in that direction, um, big pack of young coyotes. Coyotes just yipping and they must have found something. found something they were all excited about. And it went on in several cycles for just a, a little while. Mm -hmm. You know, enough where you just stop and listen and go, hmm, hmm, wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll take you with us when we leave on the trail. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's our, our camp. Water's down the path there. See you guys later. See you See later. Take care. You. Good to meet you guys. That's the trail back up to the shelter. That was Link and Zelda, uh, or Sarah and Justin. We camped next to them last night, nice folks. We should probably see them tonight at our, our stopping point. <clears throat> so it's kind of a long, uh, long path through this entire shelter area. I was actually quite surprised at how long it was last night. This is the back side of the shelter. Somebody tented there. Uh, a little food prep area here. The five mile perimeter. Yes, we did that. You can't bring ducks up. Makes sense. Got the, the privy is down that way. Turn you around and get a look here real quick. So there's the shelter building. And now we're on our path out. Uh, so all around over here, some tenting areas here. And this path leads you back to the AT with uh, multiple tenting options along here. Good morning. Have a great day. Another tenting opportunity here. Got a looks like a hammock camper over there. Another tent still set up here in the process of being torn down.
<clears throat> yeah, this is a long path into uh, the shelter area. This is about where the tenting sites start. And we're still uh, still walking out to get back officially to the trail. So I'll shut you off here uh, for now. That's that's all that's all the shelter. I'll shut you off here now and uh, get back to you when we get on trail. All right. So here is the official sign indicating the shelter and water area. So this is where we entered last night. We came from here, walked into the shelter area there. Today we're going this way. Where are we going, everybody? <laughs> Shout, out Shout out to Hawk. All right, first white blaze. Sherry, white blaze. All right. And you notice I have no gloves on this morning. It's first that's, morning. That's a big. First morning I've had no. That's major for Chris. No gloves on. It's it's not terrible. We pause here to take a break on our climb, which we do quite often, quite frequently. <laughs> uh, this was a steep climb, our first steep climb today. Um, but it's nice though. Yeah. Oh, good. It was graded well. Uh, no stairs. Yeah, the trail was real easy, other than it being. Steep. really steep but these views are just really really great there's a lake out there i just saw i'm not sure if you can see it it's like right in there is that a lake there's, i think that's a body of water out there looks mm, like it could be fog could be is fog. it white yeah could be fog uh but anyway look at the views through the trees i've had my first bug flow in, flow in ugh, yeah fly in my ear yeah yeah there's bugs out for sure um, so we came down uh, this hillside here. We came down into a gap there and then up this trail here to where we are now. We believe Trey Mountain is behind that somewhere where we camped for the night at uh, Trey Mountain Shelter. I'm not sure if I said that this morning or not. That's where we left from was Trey Mountain Shelter. But we're loving this today. It's, it's a little overcast, which is nice. When the sun peeks out, it's really hot. We've uh, taken layers off already. Just a little more up to go. You can see uh, Sherry up ahead there. Uh, it's a series of smaller ups and downs today before a big push up and then a big push down into deep gap shelter tonight. A lot of times when people talk about the Appalachian Trail, um, they describe it as walking through a green tunnel. And this is very, uh, a very good example of that green tunnel. Uh, look all over. These trees are just beautiful. Sherry's sneaking up behind me here. What's happening? I'm talking about the green tunnel. Oh, yeah. Great. So the trail goes right through this uh, section of trees that are just over, have overgrown the trail here. And this is the green tunnel. Um, we've already passed through in our you know, nearly 60 miles so far, many of these sections, and they're absolutely beautiful. And I thought I'd just get a quick video of this here to show you. This is what the green tunnel would look like if you ever hear people talk about it. Ooh, this is soft. This is soft. Oh, this is cushy trail. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, this is also another very good example as to why having um, solar charging options out here won't really work. Yeah. So you've got, you know, a full, a fully enclosed area here, this big tunnel here of green, and then you're always under tree cover of some sort. Um, you know, unless you're on top of a ridge, an open ridge, a bald in which case you could have a beautiful sunny day or you could be socked in with rain and wind. So it's kind of hit and miss. So solar options won't really work that well here. We just deployed our umbrellas. Yep, we had our umbrellas on for a bit and we just put them away. Uh, the rain was coming down pretty good for a little while and then it stopped. 
So let's look back here real quick. A little peak of the green tunnel behind us. And we're moving forward. So before I put you away, uh, we're just starting our climb up what's called uh, Dismal Mountain. <sighs> That's an encouraging name. All right, let's get it started. It's five after four. I haven't videoed in a while. We've had a, another heck of a climb to our day, but we made it to our shelter early, earlier than we thought. Um, it's a deep gap shelter. Let's show you what we got here. Uh, should I go left here, Sherry? No, go, go ahead, I'll go straight ahead. Uh, the shelter building is right over there in the fog. Let's go find a tent spot. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good. This one might do it. This might be as good as any. All right, we'll get back to you. All righty, we are at Deep Gap Shelter. It is 6.30. We've been here since Four? Four something? Yeah. We made fairly good time today considering the fact that our last climb was pretty hefty. Yeah, it's a trail that would never end up yeah, the hill. Uh, that was up uh, Kelly Knob was the peak that we climbed. Uh, it, was wasn't, it wasn't technically hard, it was just it was steep. It was constant steep, just constant steep. Um, the elevation from Addis Gap, which is the gap just before the climb. Addis Gap is 3304 and Kelly Knob Summit is 4126. That was a steep climb. Oh. Um, so now we're at Deep Gap Shelter and that is at 3554 elevation. So we've, we've come down quite a bit. Um, we're just going to eat our dinner and call it a night. We're going to get up and hike four miles and get picked up by a shuttle. Mm -hmm. Probably around 11 a.m. at um, Dick's Creek. Dick's Creek Gap. Gap. Yep. Probably staying at the Budget Inn. Budget Inn in Hiawassee. There's yeah. Some sort of concert yeah. and weekend raids. The yeah, we tried to get the Holiday Inn, but it was it was three times as much as yeah, fifty bucks. Three times as much as the Budget Inn. No and discounts like, of any sort. Yeah, I like, thought you know it, the the list price in the book was a hundred bucks. I thought I'll 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 pay a hundred bucks to stay at a Holiday Inn over a Budget Inn, but a hundred and fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not going to pay that. So we're going to do at least one night in Hiawassee. We'll see um, how much we can get done in the time frame that we're there. We might do two. We're not sure yet. But uh, we'll, we'll show you Hiawassee while we're there. Yeah. yeah so it's going to be our first like real town zero. Yeah, you know, where we have to go shop and resupply and do all that fun stuff. So. Yeah, that's one thing about Budget Inn is they'll come and pick us up. They will. Yeah, free shuttle. Free shuttle. Oh, that's so, awesome. So, you know. Yeah, and then they drop us off back at the trailhead. So, yeah, yeah that, seemed, that works. They seem very nice on the phone. Yep. Ask them, is, asked us if we wanted a smoking they still or not have. smoking room. <laughs> they still okay. have smoking room. <laughs> Alrighty then. They had one non-smoking left. <laughs> so, Ooh, boy. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Hopefully the internet's good. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, we'll upload some videos and get them scheduled to start on March 14th, or I'm sorry, March 18th. Yes. Tomorrow, yeah. We haven't even done any of that yet, so you're already watching this and it's already been posted, but anyway. Okay, so that's our plan for tomorrow. Uh, dinner. Dinner. And do some stuff in here in the tent and then sleep. Absolutely. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be doing, but... It's supposed to be mild temperatures, which is good. I think it might rain tomorrow. A little bit. It was supposed to rain today, and it only rained a little bit. A little so. bit. We yeah, we cut kinda, out the umbrellas once. We had, we we were out running the rain again today. Running the rain successfully. Yep. Of course, we were in a fog fog bank the whole day. <laughs> the whole day. Yeah. So it was a hundred percent humidity. It was hundred. Yeah. All right. Well, six thirty. We're good night. We're done for the night. Good night, folks. Full moon on the rise. I'm a song on the wind. Looking for space and finding my way back home. 
Happy tear in my eye Not ashamed of where I've been I'm looking ahead now I'm on the right road Gonna outrun the rain Gonna throw away the pain I'm living right Cause I'm following my heart Gonna outrun the rain Gonna celebrate the changes On the highway of legends It's written in the stars Gonna outrun the rain Heroes that I know Sing songs of long ago They lift me up And point me on my way Though I cannot see it with my eyes I trust within my heart So I let go And let the music rule the day Gonna outrun the rain Gonna throw away the pain I'm living right Cause I'm following my heart